We now return to our special report. Nebraska v. Colorado, the war on weed. Here again, Brian Mastry. It won't be long and we'll hear an official response from Colorado's Attorney General. The state is expected to file official paperwork in response to the lawsuit from Nebraska and Oklahoma by the end of the month. Even then, there's no guarantee the Supreme Court will hear the case. So what does Colorado's Attorney General say about the lawsuit? Not a thing. She declined my interview request. A spokeswoman told me, because this matter is one that is now before the high court, we are not granting interviews. However, the lawsuit is not keeping Nebraska's Attorney General from talking. These guys are fighting that battle right now already. They're running into kids who are bringing it back high school. And I think we're talking 14, 15, 16 year old kids. It's an impairment industry that stands to make a big profit. And they need to expand the market. And this is one of the closest markets to do it. Do people ask if they can take this out of state when they yeah, come to here? Some people do. What do you tell them? Um, tell no. <laughs> um, and you know, we say you can't take it across state lines. You, you could go to jail for that. Dispensary owners put it this way. No matter the regulation, there will always be some people who don't follow the rules. Because we're the closest dispensary to the airport, we get people all the time coming from the airport, right from the airport, and, and, uh, and you know, or going to the airport, and they say, can I take this on the plane? Absolutely not. Are you That's, surprised they're even asking? I am surprised. I don't quite get that. So what does the data say? An August report from the Rocky Mountain High Intensity Trafficking Area called the legalization of marijuana in Colorado, the impact, found Colorado young people between 12 and 17 use marijuana at a 39% higher rate than the national average. There's still some science out there that says that marijuana usage among younger people does affect your memory. I agree. Young people shouldn't be using marijuana. This industry does a lot to educate the public on that. Do you hear from people who say, oh, come on, we did it when we were young. I do, sure. We we turned out. Sure, we okay, should just legalize so, it. So what's wrong? What's wrong is look at the look at the numbers. Look at the emergency room admissions right now. Look at the traffic fatalities. What are we willing to stand? I mean, it's just a, uh, it's. I don't want to see Nebraska get like that. The same study shows traffic fatalities involving operators testing positive for marijuana in Colorado jumped 100 percent from 2007 to 2012. From 2011 to 2013, emergency room visits related to marijuana increased 57%. Everybody's comparing the marijuana of today to the marijuanas of the 60s and 70s, and you can't do that. It's, they have nothing in common but the name. I mean, the, the concentrate, the, the THC level is so much higher in today's product. The same report revealed the chemical compound in marijuana that causes the high has grown dramatically. The average THC potency in marijuana stood at 4% in 1995. In 2013, the average THC potency tripled to 12%. Marijuana is the gateway drug that comes in. If you have marijuana coming in, you're gonna start seeing an increase, in, and in our case, it was methamphetamine. We saw a huge number increase back to the days when we had labs going on. Um, we're seeing heroin for the first time in the state of Nebraska, or at least in, in this end of the state. It's like anything, you know, if people have a propensity for addiction or for abuse of substance, um, no matter what they do is going to be a stepping stone for something else. Uh, you think it's like alcohol? I do, yeah. I think it's better than alcohol. Still ahead, medical marijuana in Nebraska's spotlight. We shouldn't have to become medical refugees. When Nebraska v. Colorado, the war on weed continues.